Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will present the roadmap module of the Clarity Project and Portfolio Management Solution offered by Broadcom. Roadmaps are strategic planning models used to align and forecast work items in a given time frame. There are a lot of similarities between roadmaps and portfolios. However, roadmaps allow some additional visibility and ease of use. Let's look at my roadmap for 2020 annual planning activities. On my screen, I have a list of projects that are planned for work in the fiscal year. These include projects that are carryovers from last year and new initiatives scheduled to start this year. These projects are divided into swim lanes based on their sponsoring organization. I'm able to see which projects roll up to marketing, IT, finance, legal, and HR. Each project has key metrics attached in the timeline view, including capital cost, benefit, and resource capacity. These metrics are also aggregated by each swim lane. The projects are also color coded. In this example, the color reflects the corporate strategy the project falls under. I can configure my roadmap based on each of these items as well. I can change the view from monthly to quarterly, adjust my swim lanes to show strategic alignment, and my colors to represent sponsoring org. I can even choose which metrics I want to view on each project and in the swim lane aggregation. Additionally, I'm able to create my own personalized pick list that can be used to categorize by color or as swim lanes. When I'm going through my planning activities, I want to track new ideas or potential work items in this view as well. Rather than going through an extensive routing process, I can keep placeholder work items on my roadmap. I simply click the plus icon and drag the new work item in the appropriate swim lane close to the expected start and finish dates. Once I do that, the properties pop up is displayed and I can fill out some summary level information like name, in this case, new roadmap item. I can add it to my in plan view to see how it impacts the overall plan and I can specify more detailed start and finish dates. I can also update the selected metrics to see how they impact the roadmap. I can drag any of the projects across the timeline to help structure the overall schedule. I can also add dependencies between projects. Scenario planning is also a useful tool in roadmaps. I can create scenarios as we move throughout the year using up-to-date information from my projects and compare them with the original roadmap created during planning. This allows me to view changes to schedules and target metrics on my projects. I also have a Kanban board where I can see each of my projects as a card on the board under a specific column. Here I'm looking at projects by the phase gate they are currently in. I can move a project card from column to column as the project passes each gate. These columns are also configurable, so I can have whatever visualization makes the most sense for me to use. My grid view allows me to see a list of all projects and newly identified work items in a single view. This view contains detailed information like sponsoring org, start and finish dates, ROI, and total cost, broken out by capital and operating costs. At the top of the screen, I have my targeted constraints. I can see the overall roll-up of all the projects and new work items and how they impact my finance and resource budget. In this video, we have shown how Clarity PPM roadmaps can be used to model, align, and plan current and upcoming work. You can find more videos demonstrating other core components of Clarity PPM on our website. If you would like to schedule a more focused demo for your team, please contact Webmill using the information on the screen.